Father, for tonight. Lord, I pray that as we worship together, as we sing your praises together, Lord, that you would come and that, Lord, you would be here in our midst. And, Lord, we just want to pray that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, let your kingdom come and your will be done. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. Jesus' name. 
Feel your embrace. 
sing that to Jesus. I will pursue you.
You're a good father. You're a good father. Yes, it ain't. 
to peace the storm surrounding me let it break at your name still call the sea to still the rage in me to still every wave lord yeah at your name jesus jesus you make the darkness tremble jesus jesus you silence me lord jesus jesus you make the darkness tremble jesus jesus breathe call these bones to live Call these lungs to sing once again. I will praise Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus. You silence me, Lord. Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness tremble.
always and forever praise you. Always and greater name than your name Jesus Lord every tongue will confess that you are Lord every knee will bow and say you are Lord right now Lord would you show forth your power let darkness tremble let darkness fall to its knees we pray against COVID-19 right now. Let it be brought low. Let, let it be brought to its knees. Let it be destroyed. In your holy name we ask. Jesus, Jesus. Would you do? Would you do that, Lord? Would you destroy this darkness which is taken over, which is destroying lives, which is causing people to go into fear? Come make the darkness tremble. Jesus, your peace. Jesus, Jesus. You carry peace, Lord. Lord, you calm the storm. You speak forth. You speak walk forth into the darkness, into the wilderness, into the storm which was taking place. Jesus, Peace, Jesus, be still. Jesus, Jesus, Lord, everything bowed its knees and began to surrender to your voice. Lord, would you declare, would you release peace over this world, over this city, over London, over Essex, over East London, over Docklands, over Canary Wharf, over Tower Hamlet, right now. 
Lord, we pray for people who are in their deathbed, Lord. Lord, we speak for life in your holy name, Jesus. Lord, everyone who is sick in their bed, let them rise up and begin to praise. Lord, release those holy angels to take forth your healing into, the, into these hospitals and homes that they are suffering, Lord. We speak forth healing and wholeness. Lord, where there is fear and anxious and uh, confusion, Lord, we ask that you would speak forth your goodness, your love, your peace. Lord, when, where there are emotional upset and confusion and depression and oppression and all these mind battles which are going on in people's life, Lord, would you set them free, Lord? Lord, we speak for freedom, freedom into their lives right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Would you release freedom? Lord, would you release hope for this generation? Lord, would you release joy in this hour? Lord, we lift up families which are having difficulties who have lost their jobs and who are even having family problems because of all these things so much stress coming at them Lord would you unite the families would you bring the families together would you release your love into those places where families are struggling, Lord. Lord, we pray for businesses which are having difficulties to meet their bill payment and you know, pay their staff and so on. Lord, we ask that you would intervene in these things, the places, Lord, that you would bring solution, that you would bring in the finances supernaturally, Lord. Lord, we pray for the churches and the pastors and the congregation at this time, Lord. The sheep are without the shepherd, Lord. Would you be their shepherd, Lord? The pastors are struggling with no congregation or with no one to communicate. And they're trying to meet with each and every one through different source Lord but only you know how difficult the people their situation is Lord Lord would you bring peace into this your believers situation Lord meet with every need Lord that they are struggling Lord thank you Lord Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we pray for the economy to turn around, Lord. Lord, you bring in supernatural solution for the economy of this country, of the world, Lord. Yes, Lord. You're a God who brings in solution. Yes, Lord. Which our minds cannot even think of. Lord, we give you the freedom to bring in solutions. Lord, yes, Use your children to bring in this solution into the world, Lord. Lord, we ask for medical intervention. Be with those scientists, be with those researchers that who are trying to bring in a, a, a solution for this COVID-19, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we pray for the elderly and who are uh, who are called, you know, people with, uh, you know, underlying issues. We pray for them, Lord. Lord, would you 
release your healing anointing release the protection cover them with your precious blood lord lord your children are being attacked your children are being under fear lord they look upon to you lord that you would come through that you would break in Lord we ask that you would break in. Lord would you release your holy angels to go for strengthen the believers strengthen your pastors and your servants bring in healing where healing is needed. Lord we pray for all the missions and all the Uh, f- uh agents uh, organizations bringing aid to the needy lord lord we ask that you would uh, cover them with your precious blood release funds and release provision for them to so that they may be able to go forth to the places of needy lord and distribute lord lord we ask for wisdom in this hour would you anoint your uh, mini, uh, the the prime minister and the mps and uh, people who are taking uh, responsible decision lord would you anoint uh, with, uh, anoint them so that they can make decisions according to your will and purposes lord thank you lord thank you jesus lord we pray a protection over our ministers lord our government our parliament lord we pray for the nhs staff the doctors to everyone who works in those areas lord from the cleaner to every area lord lord protect them lord cover them with your precious blood lord thank you lord that you are a healing god that you love your children and your plan is to give them life thank you lord and father just two things on my heart tonight that we we really want to also agree with you know most of the things um ruben's actually mentioned but also on my heart are um uh, ladies who are pregnant and um Lord we just pray and we we thank the Lord for um the prime minister and um and um his newborn but um but we right now we just intercede for those that are expecting a child and um carrying um and I just pray Lord for their safety I pray for the baby's safety I pray father um for um those Lord that really need you right now father um father um that father uh, lord we just pray father for 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 women out there just lord um and children father and i, I pray father that um uh, the other thing that's on my heart is um the fact that um abuse in the family um um has always been there but um in this season in the lockdown season it's actually on the increase and right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we're going to declare this that the hearts of the fathers will turn to the hearts of their children and the hearts of their children will turn to the hearts of their fathers right now let's just declare that passage over the united kingdom over every household every household right now the scheme of the devil is is to kill steal and destroy but we speak Jesus we speak Jesus into those positions and we stand in the gap we stand in the gap and lord we humbly say lord god every child that is abused every every um wife or every partner that is abused or every husband that's abused in this situation and they can't leave the house they can't get out and lord god we just we just cry lord would you turn the hearts of the fathers to their sons and would you and their 
their daughters and would you turn uh, the, this, the, the hearts of the children to their fathers oh God father right now we pray peace we pray shalom father we pray that you stop the abuse in these households father I pray somehow supernaturally Lord we pray that you will um, deploy your angels over these households oh God Lord we just release that Lord release that into your loving arms oh God every child every family and father right now um, I, I pray for every um, employee that's going through changes um, a couple of friends have called us this week um, you know one person uh, works at British Airways and uh, and we just want to step in don't we for um, for all of that and uh, I know that the, the holiday market has been severely hit and so hotels flights um, Airbnb everything that that you know used to um, you know underpin that industry um, has just come to a complete halt um, and so you know right now we just uh, we just pray Lord God Lord God for all those for all those employees that are just facing uncertainty Lord Father would you settle their heart right now and would you just tell them would you whisper in their ear that it's all going to be okay that it's all going to be okay that you've got this and you've got them you've got their family and that nothing is impossible for you and Lord God you are able and you are able and you are able right now father we pray father for um, those that were meant to pass exams at university at um at you know in their sats or in their um colleges and schools lord right now gcse's a levels father right now father father right now i just pray father for supernatural um supernatural ways and uh, for them to to have a um lord god um just a hunger to learn a hunger to learn and a hunger to to still revise and a hunger to still know their stuff and Lord God I just pray father for um, all the school teachers out there father who are still looking after um, the um, the key workers children and the uh, underprivileged children father we we just we thank you father for school teachers tonight but father we thank you Lord for all their sacrifice and father um, and Lord do we know it how much they actually <laughs> uh, uh, bless our children um, and father um, I just pray father for all the parents who are stepping into that role God that you will just give us um, father the the anointing um, and the perseverance and the, and the, and the uh, creativity to bring lessons alive and not to kill children's spirit but father to to um, really excite them with their learning plans and father God right now as we come to an end father um, I just pray, Father, for wisdom for the government as uh, Ruben was praying, Lord, as we as we come now into a phase in of uh, uh, easing lockdown measures, but still uh, being very aware of a second peak. Father, I pray, Lord God, that that you will provide the right wisdom, godly wisdom, Father, not wisdom that is um, holding purse strings, not wisdom um, that is from the wrong side of science. Father God, I pray, Lord God, that that um, we will be able to learn from other nations, but also, God, that we will, Lord, be guided and be governed by your supernatural wisdom. Father, would you heal our nation? Would you, would you make Great Britain great, Lord? And would you, Father, bless every nation under the UK? Father, we pray for Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, and England, and Father God, we pray that we stand united. Father, we stand separated in your love. Father, we, we pray, Father, for Sri Lanka and India and China and Korea. And Father, all those communist nations, Father, that, um, that, um, that, that Father, need a sovereign touch and need a miracle, Lord, um, especially in politics. And Father, we just, and governance, we, we pray, Father, for the, the nations that need you father and we pray father for the peace persecuted churches across the nation lord and across the globe we love you lord we love you and we uphold you we, as you uphold us father we uphold your name um you're the banner of love 
Your name is a banner. Your name is a banner, Father. We love you, Lord. We love you. Thank you, Father.